tattoo artist near me. If you're searching for a tattoo artist near me on Google or another search engine, then especially if you're new to the area, and finding your local tattoo artist or a studio you have heard about has come to mind, and you feel it's worth a visit, there are some little thing to take on board to take note to make sure that they are the tattoo studio for you. Remember for the most part, the tattoos you get from them will be with you forever, and on this basis a good understanding of the back working of a tattoo studio is fundamental in helping you pick the right tattoo studio. The studio. First impressions count, and always have done. If there are yellow stains on the wall, that's a good sign they are smoking in the tattoo studio after hours. If they don't respect their tattoo environment then there's that not a good sign. Does the place look tatty or worn? Is there paper everywhere, or does the place look messy? Sure signs their work will follow suit. A good indicator is to have a look for rips or staining in the carpet, be like your grand, and have a look for dust on the skirting boards. If you can see heavy dust, then this is floating around in the air when you are getting tattooed. Cleanliness Try and see if you can see your next possible tattoo is stripping down and rebuilding for another client. This process for all tattooists is fixed in our minds, we do this without thinking, so we also would have a problem with anyone watching. This routine will show you where they are cleaning between clients, station breakdown and build, and the likes. The use of chemicals to clean surfaces is a must. We become that used to the smell of heavy dental, that the smell no longer irritates our lungs, we use it that often. The cleaner the better, look for dirty nails on both the tattooist, and the staff, might sound obvious as well, but look for overflowing bins. A good tattoo studio will also have an end of the day cleaning routine as well, and this can be seen with empty or part full bins, and not debris, and rubbish can seen lying around. The ambience. This is a preferred choice as you may like loud heavy rock music to complement your tattoo time, or for some a chilled music environment. Put the music aside as we are talking about the feel of the environment. It's the are missing around on phones whilst you're waiting, and staring into blank space, it's not a good sign. Buried in a PC monitor is a reality of the job, so be patient with the PC people, as they may be putting the exact end to a two hours design, that finally in a couple of minutes they'll get to the end of. Staff attitude is another, if everyone looks depressed or humble, then this is a sign of either a tyrannical boss, or some other background feature that's driving the staff down. A good studio will banter between their staff and the tattooist, as well as the client on the bed. A great ambience where everyone is bubbling away is a fantastic and rewarding place to get tattooed. I should know as I have always strived to have harmony in my studios, as this harmony and rapport with the clients is what always keeps them coming back. The rest is up to you, review their portfolio, look out for image manipulation. It's unfortunately rife in the industry with bad tattooists filtering out the mistakes and hey keep repeating this process with every tattoo design, till they hope they will finally get better or good enough to stick, and untweaked image on social media or the likes. An image of a tattoo with a little bit of blood or reddening is an honest image. An image where they have photoshopped it so much it's covered in white pixel dots and a client in the image has even, and their nipple photoshopped off clear signs to look out for. We come from tattooing heritage, having won awards internationally as well as at home, so we have some experience in this field, over 30 years worth actually. So when we say Cremation Inc. is made by tattooists for tattooists, we know what we are talking about. Question more and learn more at cremationinc.com. Thank you.